Hi guys, so to, I hope everyone is doing great. Today we are talking about something really controversial. Um, should your snake or reptile have contact with your dog? When I'm talking about dogs, I'm talking about him. <clears throat> Here is a horror protagonist for the video or maybe not our protagonist for the whole video but quite and these are our protagonists for the video are and Sarah they're right there but is it a bad idea a good idea to have contact between your dog and your snake the Obvious reason is no, of course, because for some bacteria, viruses, we don't know how your dog will react and we will go to that in a sec or your snake will react and blah, blah, blah. What I think is a yes part, could be a yes part is, let's for example, here, I forget to, I forget these, the enclosure is open like this and a snake goes out. Okay. If it fell on the ground, blah, 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 it fell up on the ground, and the dog is right there, and it goes right, it will go there or there, but in general, and he, we don't, I know how we react, but the thing is, why, in a certain sense, you should have your snake in contact with your dog, is not, oh, they will cuddle, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's so cute, nope. It's more like, how would my dog and my snakes, by, ex by extension, react if they have to enter in contact? Of course, it's never 100% sure. Of course, you are there, so this is not the same as if they were the two alone. But you will have a pretty good idea of what can and what, what will happen. If your dog freaks out and goes straight at the other end of the apartment, you know you're not you're fine, but you know he won't harm it, harm your snake normally. It's never hundred percent sure. And if your snake freaks out and goes the other way, you know the same. Now, if your dog react bad to your snake for any reasons, he freaks out, he wants to bite it. I want to play with it, uh, you know, you don't know, uh, each dog is different, etc. What is the most important thing to do about that is never let your snake out when your dog is in and they can enter in contact. When I say never, I don't say like you put them here, you know, at, at tree, at, you have their, their box like this and you put your snake on it, it plays, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying never do that. I'm saying be aware that your dog or your snake, it can be your snake, reacts quite badly to each other. So be sure that you are always there when there is a possibility of contact and avoid it as possible. Now, if they react good, it's not a reason to make them cuddle as some people say or make them cute little, little hugs because your snake is on your dog like this and sleeping and blah 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 this is not because they react good that you should do it you should still avoid it because there are some medical reasons but what you can do is now you're sure almost sure that nothing will happen if a snake is out uh, out of context. What's context? I put the snake out. If they escape, for example, normally I know that the dogs won't harm anyone. Normally. So that's the only reason I see your dog and your cat maybe, even though cats are something else, your dog and your snake to be in contact. If you want them in contact, do it like for a reason, not just for likes, for views, just because, oh, look at how cute it is. Nope, because even though it's cute, it's not like 
sanitary for them it's not hygienic for your snake it's not hygienic for your dog it's not great if they don't react well each other one of the two are the two so uh, you know what i personally do what i have done already and what i will do with thai is you know sometimes i will put the snake in my hand go to the dog when he's calm not when he wants to play because if he wants to play it will be a whole other discussion but if he wants if he's calm like he is right now here a little dude well you can just have your your like your snake with your reptile your dog with your reptile just to see if the reaction still remains the same or does it change you know did it change not just for cuddle oh, i cuddle my dog and oh, my snake is on my shoulder nope this is not what you should do and I know a lot of people, I, I, I don't know them, but I saw a lot of people with tegus, with bitter dragons, I saw the same reticulated python with, with retex, with Burmese python, with boa constrictors. Nope. They don't cuddle. It's not the reptiles, reptiles relationships are not the same as dog reptile. For example, two snakes having social social contact with each other like here in cohabitation it's not the same as your dog and your snake why because let's take that example in the wild a dog is a wolf a coyote or you know a wolf type predator you know not an apex but a predator sometimes an apex but your snake is also a predator but your snake is the prey when it comes to dogs or wolves uh, and coyotes and etc dingoes in the wild also uh, in australia for example so it's not the same energy it's not the same energy the same like relationships between a dog and a snake and a snake with a snake like both pythons together are not, do, does not react the same way as a bull python with a dog that's totally normal but uh you know i see a lot of video of snakes cuddle with dogs with cats and i was and i'm just like okay i do it not for these reasons i don't film i i have no video to show you because i think it's stupid to show it because if there is any bad conclusion to that thing that video you won't see it with me so with me how i do it and i think every dog like people that has reptiles should do is this thing that your dog is should know that there are there are reptiles in the home he knows it he sniffs it he smells it he knows it but you have to visual visualize them i think even though they have the smell first and then ear here and then eyes but having all this all the the senses aware of it can be can be an idea if there is any problem with your snake for example escaping and your dog you know your dog won't do anything because he doesn't give a shit about your snake but if your dog is interested in in your snake like int not not interested like not interested because oh well what's that thing even though you shouldn't let him do not all the time but for sure and not in the non uh protected environment but you should you shouldn't do it just the conclusion of the video don't do it for videos because they cuddle blah 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 do it if you want to be sure that if there is any escape your dog won't do anything to your snake. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And don't forget to join USR. Don't forget to break this an exotic pets group. Don't forget to stay strong, Brian's group. And I hope to see you on the next one.